In this section, we will look at using the interactive projector when evaluating websites, as well as interacting with multimedia on the web. I've pulled up a website that I may use when helping students transition to higher education. Rather than give my students another handout, I can use my easy interactive tools to highlight key areas of the document as they are discussed in class. Once the discussion has ended, I can quickly save the web page and the annotation by clicking on the Save button. I can name the image using the keyboard or type the desired name. Another way to engage students is to interact with media as the class is reviewing content. In this example, I can control the online audio player that allows my students to listen to a variety of readings of the Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. I can pause the recording and then annotate over the web page, directing my students' attention to specifics as the lesson dictates. If I do not need to reference these annotations later, I can select the clear screen option and continue with the lesson.